Hello friends, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I will show you how to connect your Shopify store with GoDaddy domain. For that, you need to have the GoDaddy login as well as Shopify admin panel access. So to get started, you can go to Shopify admin panel and click on settings and go to domains. Here, what you can do is you can click on the connect existing domain and type the domain name here. So in my case, I'm going to use this domain which is vtexfezd.com. I'm going to enter this domain here and click on next. In most cases, you'll be able to see the option for connect automatically. So in these cases, you can just click on connect automatically and you can connect your domain with few clicks. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to do that manually. So just click on connect manually and after that you can go to your GoDaddy account and go to domains and find the manage DNS. Here you will be able to see all the DNS settings of that domain. It will be different for each domain. Once you reach the GoDaddy DNS settings, you need to change the A record as well as C name. Okay, you can add the A record as this IP address. I'll just share the link in the description so you can find the A record as well as C name from this link. So after going to your GoDaddy account, you can click on edit and change the value to this IP and just click on save and you have to add a new C name called www. If you are having something you can edit that also. So select the type as C name, enter the name as www and the value as shops.myshopify.com and just click on save. So this is going to take some time. So what you can do is once you add these changes, you can go back to your Shopify domains under the settings and click on verify connection so if you have done it properly you will be able to see the domain added successfully so once you are done in order to test you can go to the domain and see whether the Shopify store is accessible under this domain so this is how you can add the GoDaddy domain for your Shopify store manually hope you understand how to do that thanks for watching